Hello everyone. No, Sagi here. Back again. So today, well, one, we're out in my garage. Don't mind our freaking water softener going on in the background. Yes, I know it's loud. No, I'm not planning about doing anything about it. And uh, yes, we're replacing it soon. So we got a oh, wire. We have a 66 block here. And uh, as you can probably see on my uh, little workbench of magic here, uh, there, there's not a punch down tool. And let me actually empty out my pocket. Let's see here. What we have a pocket number two. Oh no. No punch down tool. Well, let me explain to you why I don't have a punch down tool here. Because I'm an idiot. I thought I had one. I was like, oh yeah, yeah, no, I've got a punch down block here. You know, I've got a punch down tool here. I've seen it around. Went to go find it after this guy here. No, it's a 110, not a 66 block tool. And it doesn't have interchangeable blades. And I don't feel like putting out, you know, shelling out, you know, 25 bucks for a tool I'll use. Well, twice. So, it's probably a good thing I went with the pre-wired version. So, yeah. Good thinking there. Alright, so, I'm going to be wiring up uh, two, that is, dose stations. And, uh, got my cable here, RJ11. I already cut off the lines I don't need, because... I don't need them. So, first things first, and this is just due to the pinout of the PBX, I am going to be using the... Come on. I'll make me put the phone down. Alright, I have to put the phone down. Ugh. Enjoy a 66 block. So, as I was saying, the phone system I'm using once the ring on let's put that right there puts the ring on the top and then hang on I'm a little bit of trouble getting this one to actually stay come on get in there there we go and then it wants the tip on the bottom prepare that is I've already verified that this is wired up how it should so that's good so we've got Red and green. Red is going to be line one ring. Green is line one tip. I ignore these extension numbers. Those are going to be coming off, and I'm going to be putting my extension numbers on there. Because why not? So, how are we going to get this down without a punch down tool? So, yeah. Going to get yourself a flathead screwdriver. You know, those pliers pretty good. I used regular pliers before, but. That only really works for the first one. And yes, I know I'm, I'm filming quickly. I'm not planning on doing anything about it. Um, it's because it's a little bit easier for me to film it while doing this. So you're just going to stick one end of your little... Put that down on this side. Your screw bit there. You're just going to Gently push that there wire all the way to the bottom. Make sure it's there. Grab this. Make sure not to get the other line stuck in there. And then pinch those and voila. We'll come back for that little pigtail. So now we'll do... Oh. Shoot. Hang on. Let me get it back in there. So they've got these little punch down blocks, have these little uh, hooks on them. You're supposed to put the wire in there, kind of helps with stabilizing. And yes, I know I could, I should probably use the other, other one, but this is how I like my punch down blocks. All right, it's my system, not yours. So it fits my needs, does what I want it to do. And, uh, yeah, 
If you want to complain, comment section's open. Helps with my engagement. Thanks, I guess, ahead of time. So there we go. Got that one in there. I don't know if you can see it that well. Let me grab a flashlight. Ooh, that's a little bit too bright. There we go. So that one's in there. I still haven't gone in and done that. There we go. So now we got that closed in there. Let's see here. There we go. Right there. So now we got to take care of this little extra bit of pigtail. This is going to be a little bit hard to do, but I'll explain it and then I'll do it. But basically, you're going to stick. Probably make sure the cameras come on focus. You're going to stick a little bit of your uh, screw bit right on the end there, not directly on the um, the pin like a little bit out and then let's see if, oops, see if you can guess what uh, what I'm doing based on the sound but just remember you're gonna line it up there on that little bit and then there we go and now that came off so and now I'm holding these so that probably gives you guys a hint so basically what you're going to do, you're going to line it up on a little bit of slack, and then you're just going to you know, hit it a few times. If you're using pliers, I just use those. Um, hammer works, but that's overkill. Flashlight also works. Multimeter. Your hand, like a fist. Your head, if you really want pain. So yeah, I mean, there's that. So that's my ultra crappy way to... Uh, wire up a 66. Uh, let's see, let's get the red wires done. Let's grab the other end and we will just verify. Let me just lay that across there so I can get at it. Nope. All right, multimeter. It's in continuity mode. So if I do, I'm just gonna use these for an example. Hard to do with one hand, come on. Okay, screw it. Doing the classic example. There you go. Most of you guys watching probably know how to use a multimeter, so it's not really an issue. I'm gonna put the phone down again, but basically I'm now going to touch with one of my probes the first set of pins, and then using my other one, let's see, one, two, and three. I'm going to try and get at the, where is it, on the, j yeah, I'm going to try and get at the jack, no, nope. alright, well, I can't verify right now, I guess, because my probes are too thick to make it into small little connectors, and yes, I know that's not a straight RJ11, but it fits, pins match up, I just am not using the two other pins. Yes, I know, you're still on. So, yeah, there you go. Um, let me go ahead and get rid of that other bit of slack here. For the other one. Line it up. See, I tried doing it without bashing something on it, but but yeah, there you go. Hulk smash always works, I guess. <laughs> Speaking of smash and Hulk, we all know She-Hulk is just a box office hit, eh? And other news, movies suck. Modern movies, at least. So, yep. There you go. Two of them wired up. 
they look somewhat decent. I'm happy with those. Uh, question is, is do they work? Won't know for another few days is a freaking card I need for the PBX to actually hook up stations uh, and not trunks is not here yet. So you'll see a video when it does. Hopefully Wednesday. Today is Monday for those watching. Not on the same day, but Wednesday. Soon. Alright, well, not a saw gator. See you guys later.